Hello everyone. Okay, so in order to know how to use the opportunities, you must first know how to create them. So this is really easy. Once you click on opportunities here on the left, then you go to pipelines and create new pipeline. So let's say this is our new business pipeline or certificate of insurance pipeline service. It, it doesn't matter. And then down here are the stages. So we can have the first one as uh, code lead or new contacts. Again, naming is completely up to you. Uh, second one can be information gathering. Third one can be application submitted. And so on and so forth. Uh, however many stages you need, right? Last one can be issue policy or uh, something completely different. Okay, then you save it. And it will show up here. Then if I go back to opportunities, and I'll have it here with my stages. And if I add a lead in here, so let's go and add uh, Demeter, one of those here. Okay, so it doesn't have an email. That's fine, I'll add one. And I just create it. Okay, so the card shows up here. And now, let's say that I want uh, an, an automatic uh, SMS to go out to this person here when I move the card to the second stage, the information gathering. So all I have to do is go to automation. And I suggest guys, uh, always keep your workflows organized. So instead of just creating a workflow, uh, we can create a folder first, go at, uh, let's say pipelines or new business pipeline new business pipeline, create, and that way, uh, whatever workflows and automations concern this pipeline for new business will be contained uh, within this folder for the new business pipeline. And now I just need to go to create workflow in the top right, start from scratch, top left option. And in here I can name it, uh, moved to second stage. And the trigger would be pipeline stage changed. We need to add some filters here. The first one will be in which pipeline? In pipeline, new business. And then pipeline stage would be uh, information gathering because this is where we moved the card. Save trigger. And then the action will be to send the person an SMS. So we can just type in SMS. Uh, well, whatever it is. Save action, publish the workflow and save it. It's also a good idea to go to the settings of the workflow and always allow multiple. This will allow the same contact to go into the workflow multiple times. Again, save. And you can also um, choose the workflow to be only functional within a specific time, which is uh, a useful setting um, for different types of workflows that would go out automatically, that would do things automatically. Uh, this one, um, we likely won't need that, so it can stay at any time. Confirm. Okay, so now, whenever I move a card from this stage, to this one, an SMS should go out. Now this contact here, we did not add a phone number for them. So let me just click on the name and add a phone number here. So 435, like this, and I'll save this. Click on the back arrow. And now when I move them, an SMS should go out. Okay, now when I open up the contact again, there we go. An SMS went out automatically because I moved the card over. The same thing can happen if you move it to a um, status down here. Lost, abandoned, won. And in order to set the workflow up, uh, it's identical to what we did. Instead of um, choosing the trigger for pipeline stage changed, we'll need a trigger code opportunity status changed. Opportunity status changed, this one right here. 
and again we need to say in which pipeline new business and then moved to status or from status uh, whatever whatever we're doing but in this case it would be moved to status uh, one let's say we moved it to one so that's all we have to do basically when you click on add new workflow trigger you search for opportunity status changed or pipeline stage changed whatever uh, you're looking to do and you set up the trigger then your actions can be uh, you know, sending an SMS, sending an email, uh, telling the system to put them into the dialer, uh, all sorts of things, sending information to a webhook somewhere. Uh, th there's a, a lot of options here. Uh, let me just find the, where was it? Right, so adding tasks, that's also very useful when you move the contact to the information gathering stage you may want a task to be added to a specific agent or to a csr uh, you want a notification to go out so that's also possible you can look for send internal notification or just if you type in notification it will also show up a notification to go out uh, to let's say a specific agent's uh, phone or their inbox so in here, we just have to say to user type, maybe it's a, a custom email, maybe it's a particular user, it can be the assigned user to the contact, you know, all sorts of options that you can choose from here. All right, I hope that helps. Have a good day.